there are a few different elements in ScalaFX that deal with the presentation of menus. And we're going to talk about those in this video and a few after it because it's, it's a reasonably long topic. So let's go ahead and start editing our template file here, which I've called menus. And we can fill in the title there. So it turns out that when you create a menu, when we have menus on our windows, they are generally positioned up at the top and they're organized into something that is called a menu bar. And the menu bar contains menus and each menu can have menu items in it. Now it turns out there are a number of different styles of menu items that ScalaFX provides. <clears throat> there is the basic menu item. And this is the type of item that you just select, and it's kind of like clicking a button. It does something. Okay. There is also a separator menu item. We'll put a comma and hit enter and go down the line there. That is for menus where things are separated. Let's see if I do a right click here. Yeah. So these would be individual menu items. The line between those would be a separator menu item. So it's an item that goes in a menu that just draws a little line and separates things out. You can't select it or do anything with it. It is also possible to have different types of items in there. So there is a checkbox menu item or a check menu item check menu item. Make sure we capitalize that correctly. There is a radio menu item. And these are much like the checkbox and the radio bo uh, radio button that we've looked at previously except they sit inside of a menu. Because the radio types can be grouped together, we need the toggle group that we used previously with the radio buttons so that you can only select one at a time. And we'll kind of stop there for now. Uh, there are some other controls that you can add in that will bring up menus, but that's probably enough for us to start off with, at least for this video. Okay, so let's make a new, let's make a menu bar. Well, menu bar equals new menu bar. Okay. And inside of this menu bar we're going to place menus. So the first menu that I'll make is the file menu. Most applications have their uh, have a file menu as the the first one and that will be a new menu and we can give it the string that we want. So this one will say file on it. And then we put items inside of that menu. So I can make a val, for example, maybe I have a new and an open and a save and an exit. Actually, I'll get rid of the new. We'll just go with open, save, and exit. Uh, open item is a new menu item that says open. We'll have a save item, an exit item, save, oops, and exit there. Okay, and those are the things that we want to put inside of our file menu. So we can say file menu dot items equals a list of the things that we wanted. So I want to have the open item and the save item. And then, so that you don't accidentally click exit, we're going to put a new separator menu item. And then our exit item. So that we can check to see whether or not this is working, we can go ahead and say content equals and I will make, we're going to be adding more things to this, so I'll go ahead and make it a list. 
But for right now, the only thing that it has inside of it is a menu bar. So we save that, and we come over here, and we try running it, and see how many things I mistyped. Uh, looks like, in some ways, the answer is none. Oh, <laughs> there is a menu bar there, but I never added the uh, file menu to that menu bar. So we need one more step before we get things to actually pop up, and that is to say menu bar dot menus equals, and once again, there could be many of them. Uh, we will add at least one more so that we can see all of the different options for our menus. Now we run, and there we have a little menu. So open, save, exit, none of which do anything yet right now. Uh, also, you'll note this menu bar is not spanning the whole width. That might be a nice thing to add. We could tell the menu bar that it has a preferred width of 600, the size of our scene. That way it will take up the entire width. Okay, so we've created a basic menu bar with some menu items in it. We'll come back in, a, in the next video and add more onto this example.